but you know, here we can. Hello, and I suppose welcome to another vlog. Daily vlog, kind of. Um, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, so Andrew, I've just dropped Andrew off at the station. And um, yes, it is Monday. Dropped him off at the station. Before that, we went and picked up some soil. Uh, I got some plants, not plants, I got some pots yesterday, which I'll um, insert clip now. Don't know why I did that, but now. So I managed to pick the last one of these up from Dunelm. I think Helen got one last year and I absolutely love it. Um, so I think I'm gonna, I'm not sure what I can plant in there that'll work. A little milk maze. Cool. You're gonna drive carefully? Yeah. Let me go put the trolley back. So yeah, basically, went yesterday, got some pots. My plants are thriving. Um, the, I say plants, veg, my veg is thriving. And I need to transplant some of it. And yes, I could put it into a raised bed. Uh, the one that I've kind of did have going wasn't the right place. Um, it made sense, uh, looks aesthetically. Um, it looked right, but I had to um, move move some bits around because the, there was a tree over the top of it and a lot of trees were falling on bits, shadowing it. It was getting sun at the beginning of the day, but wasn't there. It was just all a bit, wasn't working. And then when I put some of them into pots and they were doing really well, I then decided the raised bed in that section wasn't working. Thinking of moving it, um, to the other side at the top, but I can't do that on my own. I do need help from Andrew and Andrew just doesn't have the time right now. So I've decided to, although it's quite costly, just basically stick with pots for now. Every pot I buy, I absolutely love and has longevity in it. So it's an investment. So um, yeah, all of that's doing really well, which I will show you today. I, ha I did say in my last vlog that I was gonna show you um, a load of stuff, and I never did, but I think how you could portray it was, I will get round to showing it to you because I'm not gonna stop vlogging in the near future. I'm just gonna to continue to try and do this. Basically, I think I'm just gonna vlog when I've got something to do, and right now, um, with Andrew going away each week, doing bits and bobs working. Uh, I've had an opportunity to have space in the house, do things that I need to do, not kind of be in his space um, and kind of crack on. I did actually start working with Helen again on Saturday uh, for a video about uh, her version of download and I could do that because it was outside obviously two meters away uh, and I could get like bits of b-roll and stuff for her that it wasn't too clingy. I know the rules are different and not rules are different but there is some leniency and with how Andrew's working um, he's getting his temperature taken like all the time in and out of things it's very hot and heavy but with with me and Helen she can do stuff on her own although she does like me working with her and her talking to camera and feel like she can just get stuff done a lot quicker with my help the time just isn't right right now until I don't know until people can go inside other people's houses I honestly I don't really know what the rules are and um, I, I, I stick to the basics anyway and I'm not going out and venturing that I need to know what's going on I do ask if Andrew's being safe and he's got masks and things like that but at the same time I'm very much just like I don't want to go out well I don't want to so I just stay in the house and I, I do what I do what I, I can do basically so yeah stuff with Helen will commence as and when if she needs me obviously following guidelines and whatnot i believe stuff is gonna change quite dramatically next month with hairdressers and beauticians opening so i cannot wait to reconvene with kirsty and the lovely libs libby 
and see the doggies. But again, don't know what PPE precautions need are needed for stuff like that. So it's all very much up in the air, which I'm sure you are aware of. I can imagine there's lots of people out there that desperately want to get their hair done <laughs> and other things. It's not a priority, but you know, who doesn't like getting their hair done? I mean, I do now. You used to give me anxiety, but anyway. So, yeah, that, that, that's just kind of it at the moment. Uh, I did watch, re-watch my vlog and listen to the things that I said that I was saying that I was going to show you and I never did. So I'm going to correct that in this vlog. The bits that are relevant anyway. I suppose thanks for watching. It got a bigger response than I thought it would. For someone that was just doing a lot of, you know, a bit of weekly vlogs and then went to daily vlogging and was getting quite a lot of reception and uh, building uh, friendships with y'all in the comments. For, for that to then stop, obviously on my behalf, I, I stopped for a month and a bit or whatever. And for people to then still watch my videos and still leave comments, it is quite, it's a big privilege. So I can't thank you enough. And um, it, it was nice to, I mean, I did the whole premiere thing, which I didn't actually know what it was, but it was literally like a 10, 9, 8, 7, so, you know, countdown situation. And then I could basically, we could all sit together and watch it and I could comment, I could comment with you. There was basically a live chat whilst the video was aired at six, which I might do again, it was quite fun. I only noticed it when I was, um, I finished my shop at Aldi, which was like 20, 20 past six and it went up at six. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna see how my video is doing. Had a little look and it was just like, premiering and people were leaving comments or you could leave comments before which is why i did it because i thought the whole premiere thing was i got the video ready before it was gonna go up like i scheduled it but there was an option to premiere it and i was like oh I'll premiere it then and you got to see the thumbnail before and actually see that i was gonna upload a video um on youtube and in, in your feed on YouTube. And I was like, oh, that looks cool. I saw um, Sophie and Dave do it the other day, but I didn't realize it was actually like a premiere thing that it could be a big situation. Might do it again. It was a bit of a flop, but um, I didn't really understand it. And I'm not sure other people will understand it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm sure you can see that I'm in better spirits. I plan on having a productive day today. Again, I woke up a bit miserable. My hay fever was horrendous yesterday. My eyes are still a little bit sore. I'm trying not to touch them because they'll start again. So I'm gonna take an antihistamine now and hope that that kind of like gets in. I've taken my tablets for today anyway, but I think an antihistamine needs to kind of be another tablet and the situation. Also, you've got my landlord coming on Thursday to sort some bits out. Need to make the house look nice and lovely. Lots of stuff to do today. So I'll stop nattering and we'll crack on, shall we? I've already got the girls crying. Uh, I've also got a recurring spot that's come up. Does anyone have that? This is a spot I, t I tend to get like every other month or once a month and it's in the same place each time and it's so sore, like I'll touch it, which I shouldn't really do. And it's like a, ooh, like a needle kind of feeling, but I'm not gonna squeeze it because I think it's adding to my look. sorted and um i've already got a bit of a hiccup my my lovely washing machine that i love is not very happy i've currently got towels in here that i want to wash and because it's we've had like a burst of sun i wanted to get a towel wash done hang the towels outside so they can get dry because i don't like using the tumble dryer on on towels because it just takes just so long for them to dry. If I can get the sun to do it, I'm obviously gonna get the sun to do it. But it keeps on saying that there's a draining fault, a code keeps on coming up. So I'm literally sitting here um, trying to understand what's going on. I've been on the phone to Andrew to like understand what's going on. He keeps on going in and out of signal and I'm just getting a bit flustered. Luna is fine. A gazillion towels and throws later and I managed to fix the washing machine. It had to do with this filter down here and to drain the water out of it was just so messy. I did do it stupidly the first time but I did it a smart way the second time and it took seven of these each with all the water that was in there. There wasn't a blockage. I didn't realise that you're supposed to clean please clean the drain pump filter monthly 
so I think you're supposed to check in on it and to get to the filter you've got to drain a lot of water so bearing in mind I've had this since November and I haven't touched the filter there must have just been a lot of water in there I don't know so now I've got that to wash I've got towels in there so straight after I've got to wash all of that I've got to clean up all of this all water because I was sitting down here with the water putting it in there it, I, I was doing it so stressfully that it's all water got over there I'm having to use dirty clothes to wipe down bits because I don't have anything clean now it's just a nightmare and everything seems to be going wrong when Andrew leaves and I'm also cleaning my um, my orchid because I actually sit it in water and the water well, I didn't really it's been a while since I changed it I was supposed to change it like maybe twice a week once a week oh it smells like it's just gross I don't think this is gonna last much longer I didn't do it properly basically just when I thought I'd resolved everything it gets beeped again so I'm just gonna get a load of dirty clothes in case there's any spillages I've already done one two and I've literally been able to open it got all the towels out they're hanging outside I'm trying to drain this water that's in here, not having it, so I'm like, right, I'll go back to draining it through this hose again. But why is there so much water? What am I doing wrong? Put a wash in everything is dry that I've put in there there's not like I think the, the problem was I was maybe putting stuff in there that was already wet because there was stuff outside uh, some towels outside that were in the dog bed and I left that dog bed outside and obviously it rained and the towels were quite wet so that could have caused this problem but we'll see I put it on a uh, an hour wash, so we'll, we'll see what happens. This is not the vlog I expected to produce. It has basically been taken over by my washing machine. Um, I've even had to get a bucket down here to empty the water out because the Tupperware just wasn't doing it. Well, I mean, I'd have the Tupperware and then I'd have to put the water in the bucket and the bucket was filling up right to the top. So I think it's a draining issue. Well, I knew it was something to do with the drain and the filter and whatnot, but I think there's something in the back end that is blocked and I don't know what it is. But then again, I'm putting like, I'll go to my sink and I'll turn the tap on and the water will go down fine. So I really don't know. I mean, it doesn't help that I'm doing towels. I'm washing towels at the moment and they get quite heavy, but it's nothing from the ordinary, you know? So I didn't get to exercise today. I didn't get to go back out um, and get some more uh, planting bits um, that I needed to get to pot some stuff. I've let uh, I've let Angela run out and about. She's been all around here and has been going out on the decking. She's only gone and eaten my broccoli leaves and I pretty much don't have the start of my courgettes anymore. She started on my berry plants. So me and her aren't good friends. She hasn't touched my tomatoes though, so that's all good. I'm obviously still livid because they had the potential to be absolutely gorgeous. And I've got a purple basil as well, and she's gone at that. So, fuck you, Angela. And um, she's pissed and pooped on the decking. So I need to tidy it all. In my head, all I'm thinking 
in my head all I'm thinking is that the landlord is coming on Thursday, need to get this place in order, I don't want him to think like we're abusing the pay, abusing the place but it can come across like that if you're having a manic day and everywhere's a little bit of or a tip even in places he might think like we live like that full time and I don't want him to think that so tomorrow's gonna be a better vlog but you'll have to wait for that one <laughs> yes I'm just I'm sweating I feel gross I have to shove some dinner down my throat I've had the, the the usual dinner that I have, which is I showed you I showed you the previous vlog, but I had chicken instead, and because I was having a tough day, I added some mozzarella in there. So whatever, bang on the cows. But anyway, I'm still going to carry on. I'm still going to have my bath as planned. So I'm not sure whether you can tell. I mean, I don't. I mean, I do put tan on my face, but I did a very shitty tan job this week, so. I am going to scrub it all off, have a relaxing bath. Did my nails on Saturday and they're already coming off. Lauren, what is your secret? What am I doing wrong? And why aren't my gels sticking on? Because I've got OPI. Yeah, I, I a couple of years ago, spent money on OPI base coat and top coat for gels. And I'm dealing with this. The color shouldn't be a problem. And the color was, it wasn't expensive, but it was a little bit more than I would normally pay pay for a gel polish. But I only have two colors I go for, so what else? Uh, let's just go run the bath, scrub the tan off, and then put some more tan on, which is Sienna Mousse Tan, which I haven't used yet, that Helen has kind of given me. So yeah, let's give it a go. She looked um, absolutely fabulous wearing it. Um, the other day when I saw her on Saturday, so I'm quite excited to get all nice and bronzy. I think this is just a little bit too orange and I don't know what's happening with my neck, just don't know. And I think it's going to start raining again, so what's the point of even putting tan on? To feel good, Grace. To feel good. Feel bronzed even though we're in isolation. Well, is it isolation anymore? Shops are now open. Still the two metre rule. Just still not normal really is it so um yes i keep saying so and i'm picking up on that as i talk i'm trying to stop but this feels new to me again but i'm gonna go have a bath i'm gonna look fab i'm gonna feel fab but probably not i don't know maybe i'll i just don't really want a bath but i'm sticky and gross and my skin is white in places so it's dried up skin and i need to scrub it off and I feel like I need to treat my skin. I love how in my last vlog, I'm like, mm, having a good skin day. And then like, I'm getting the odd pimples. What were you gonna do? Go have a path apparently. I know um, you've probably been bullied. I've been bullied, just, I think everyone's just been bullied and I'm not saying that that's the attitude that we should take at, you, at, you, at all, but it's, um, it's almost become the norm. I am asking the question, um, when is this gonna fucking stop? Because I don't understand. I mean, I work with Helen and Andrew is really good friends with some other YouTubers, Jack Maynard and some guy off of Made in Chelsea. I don't watch Made in Chelsea, so I don't really know. And just some other people I'm not gonna name drop, but I don't get these sites online. I've never gone on them. I'm never gonna click on them. I'm not gonna give them my click, my view, whatever. But there are some pretty awful screenshots that I've seen from whether that be in chats or something when we're when we're in our flange group where we, we've we've kind of seen some stuff or um about Helen or whether it's Andrew that's shown me some stuff of how evil people can be and I think it's it's fucking disgusting and it needs to stop. There are petitions out there and I recommend you sign them. I'll probably link them in the description box down below because it's a must and if you agree with it, then please give it a sign. But when you really think about it and the fact that we don't live on this planet for very long, uh, I mean, some people don't live on this planet for very long, like at all, 
you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow basically so when people spend their, their spare time their valuable spare time going on certain websites uh, contributing to uh, vile threads or creating threads for other people to comment on and be absolutely vulgar to where do these people get off because it makes me want to hunt them down and um, poke them in the eye and maybe pull their pants down put them in a bin and roll them down the hill or to make things easier wishing they had explosive diarrhea um, for several days and then some it's just really 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 fucking disgusting and i'm trying not to swear as much on my channel but i don't think there's any other words that can express how i feel i don't get it i just don't get it and especially when it happens to friends or watching other people's friends go through it I, to be honest i think just full stop talking about someone uh, online unnecessarily i mean don't get me wrong i've uh, done it before maybe when i was 13 or 14 in retaliation i'm gonna give myself the excuse that i was a very young teen but people grown-ass people doing it and um, to be honest, I think this should be something we should discuss down in the comments below. How do you feel about it? I mean, I don't even need to be asking that question because if you're watching my channel, watching my videos, I'm sure that you're, or continuing to, you clearly are similar to me or see something in me or where we're very alike, very similar. And let's be honest, if you are deep down human, you're just gonna think the same really, aren't you? It's disgusting. It's, it's just vile and um, it's upsetting really. I don't understand also people, the people that go on these sites and just read it just for gossip. Who's bitching about who? Like who fucking cares? Live your fucking life in harmony. I just, I really don't understand. I'm struggling to understand. I don't think it's something that you should understand anyway. You know that it's wrong, don't do it. And do something good. Hashtag do good, basically. That was my event. I'm not having a good day today. I'm not sure whether you can tell. But I just hate people. Like, I don't hate every person, clearly, but I just needed to say something and I needed to put it out there that it's wrong. And if you are someone that stumbled across my video and you are one of those people that's contributed to a nasty thread or created a nasty thread, go and delete it or um, and or go sign the petition below because it's wrong. It's so wrong and you're contributing to someone's ill health, ill mental health, and which that could lead to suicide and we all know about that. That's been screamed and shouted about um, enough on social media that people should get it by now. And it's so disappointing that people don't. And I think that you're all sad and you need to go over yourself and discover a new hobby because it's gross. I'm gonna go bathe now because I'm sweating. Not only because this bath is hot, but because I've gotten a bit, little bit steamy about this topic. <laughs> yes.